Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to today's uh, Luna Classic for update for Sunday 19 of June. So, so far Luna Classic has not been dropping that much to the downside but we still have a lot of things going on with Luna Classic. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if, uh, is it this one? Yeah, I, think, I guess it's that one. Okay, I was actually looking at something. So yesterday, uh, on yesterday's update I actually told you guys that this apex coming in <clears throat> by today or tomorrow and you're gonna have a, a announcer I had a lot of people coming in and trolling me and saying that um, it's not gonna actually drop to the downside it's gonna keep moving to the downside and I saw this coming from a distance and I already told you guys I already told you <clears throat> there's a big chance of this you know making a fake out to go to the upside and uh, it could even come down here get trapped a little bit and then push to the downside and go away for good okay now the prices are at 5390 and in the previous videos i've been telling you about something and you know we haven't been trading for long even my personally i haven't been trading that much for a long time i have been saving a lot of dips and so many people requested to open up signals and uh, even uh, three days ago at 16 June today's 19 I was telling people avoid trading for the next three days <clears throat> and that's what um, you know right now everyone is enjoying the fact that I've saved them like 30 40 percent of the dro drops here anyways anyways now what is going to happen next and what, what, are, what are we looking for moving forward okay so let's dive in into the four hour time frame and there's a pattern I told you which is known as a reversal pattern to the downside. I'm just going to remove that line here and this line here. So here we are. We got trapped once again. Okay. So one touch, uh, some few touches, third one, fourth one. Okay. And then you made a fake out to the upside. I told you about the TriStar and how TriStar are bearish patterns in yesterday's video. Went to the downside like this. And now you are coming up. But the issue is that you're coming up at a resistance. That's the problem. Okay which also tells me that bitcoin still could be looking to go to the downside and do watch the bitcoin update it's going to serve justice for what's about to happen next in the market so what i'm going to do is take the bottom here of this reason swing low to the swing high right there just like this and you are <clears throat> doing what finally losing the uh the golden ratio as a matter of fact uh, this is going to be up here just a little bit like that so uh you went like this <clears throat> you went up came down, hold the 0 0.382, went up, came down, hold the 0 0.382, lose the 0 0.382, went to the 0 0.5, held the 0 0.5 a little bit, came to the 0 0.618, golden ratio, hold it a little bit, hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, now, you are losing the golden ratio. Finally, this golden ratio is lost. Okay? And as far as I look at things, you are getting sandwiched. So what do I mean by getting sandwiched? You're getting sandwiched at two different levels. Number one, you're closing below the golden ratio, which is not a good sign. Number two, you're below the resistance line up here. Do you see that? You are below. You're once again falling in under the resistance line after trying to break it out here, went down, and now you are below it once again. Where is the next technical target? The next technical target takes you all the way down to 2593. That's where you're looking to go down, 1.618. And if you don't believe me, I was talking about Luna uh, and how Luna is looking to go down to that particular price level. People, they didn't hear, hear what I was about to say and I'm going to open up Luna here. And I was telling them, this is your golden ratio, 0 0.618. If you're gonna lose this level you're looking for the 1.618 guys right now Luna went down all the way to 1.6039 just a thin air to the 1.4 and yes it's still pending to drop to the uh, to the 1.4 dollars imagine that imagine that so trading is just like that okay you have to follow the rules of trading <clears throat> and uh, for, for those who are still interested in the signals we have 12 more days to close it so do check uh, the signal agreement by the end of the video i'm going to put, show you the video on how to join this one if you're interested in that so or you can just skip to the end of the video if you want to watch that one okay now <clears throat> drop the to the 1.618 come here hold support and probably from there start to go back up uh, up to maybe 4361 and then even break it out that could be a possibility as well 
But any, if anything, this should be a big support moving forward in the next coming few days. I also want to check out the weekly time frame because the weekly is going to be uh, another thing that I want to talk about. And again, yes, the weekly. Oh, the weekly. Good old boy, the weekly. The weekly has three black rows. So there are no signs of, you know, upward direction. And as far as I see things, there's a wick down here at the 4136. The prices might be interested to come down to take out that wick and then continue to the downside, which means next week as well, you can actually expect some green, uh, sorry, red candles to the downside as well. Uh, I just want to watch the monthly as well, but we don't have enough clue on the monthly time frame. So there's nothing much going on on the monthly. Uh, it's just a spinning top and uh, and a big red candle which still continues and you have 11 more days and 17 more hours to actually <clears throat> continue to, to, to dump to the downside. So let's check the one hour time frame. Let's talk about the near time frame as well because uh, that's going to be actually quite important to look forward to. Alright, so you do have a morning star though, but this morning star won't really play out when you're at the resistance. What I'm going to do is go... Uh, you know make a little bit of the undo we can bring back the drawings here yep, here we are so I'm just going to remove this one and remove the fibre retracements and let's go into the one on the time frame that's something that I want to tell you as well <clears throat> okay in the next 10 minutes a new candlestick is actually going to be printed out now that candlestick is, uh, is, is a morning star here do you see that the problem with this one is that morning star at a resistance doesn't really play out okay when you have resistance now for those who don't know morning stars this is a bullish pattern and it makes more sense when you make a morning star near the support level like this and not make a morning star like this one when you are near the resistance level so when you're at the resistance you can get rejected and go down but when you're at the support then it's actually good to say that it's going to look to go and move to the upside as well so you guys have to be extra careful with this new candlestick that is about to be printed out if i do bring in the emas and probably the bollinger bands as well i just want to see uh, how the bollinger bands are looking as uh, here so you can see there's a resist resistance up there and there's a resistance of the bollinger bands as well the middle line is coming down as resistance and you might have a little bit of a squeeze down here like this continue sideways until 19 of june today or maybe uh 20 of june and then boom pop, pop to the downside and move uh to the downside once again and move towards 4000 ish area and that's it for today's update hope you enjoyed this one i'm gonna see you in the next one hello office